Hello, and this is Shane from Tweaking.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create an add-on for the Advanced System Tweaker. Uh, very basic, very easy, and hopefully this will help get you on the right track. So in this case, we'll go ahead and open up the Advanced System Tweaker. And underneath the File menu, we'll go ahead and open up the Open Add-ons Creator. Now with this open, uh, we're going to go ahead and start a new test dummy add-on for the purpose of this video. So we'll go ahead and click New. Let's go ahead and call this Test. Okay. Once it's loaded, let's go ahead and give this a description. And of course the description will show when a person loads the add-on in the program. So the better the description, the more the user will understand, so that's very important. Underneath detailed information here you can set what version of this add-on you're creating. So if you're maintaining multiples you can keep track here. And go ahead and put who you are for the author. Go ahead and put contact email if you wish in case a, a, a user has trouble or advice or an opinion. And then of course you can also direct them to your site as well. And of course in the program if a person clicks on here it will go to their site. Underneath OS supported you can uh, put the check boxes of what is supported. Now, if a user runs an add-on that is not supported, the program will warn them and it'll stop. Underneath the reg file, the commands, and the script, this is where you place the actual code that's to be ran. Very easy. The script is any VBS script file. Just copy and paste it right on in here. Same with back commands and reg files. So I have a, uh, a reg file here we'll use. Let's go ahead and highlight all that, and we just copy, paste it right on in there. Done. Very easy. And we'll get into more details of that here momentarily. Another thing you can also do is show the, uh, give the user controls to interact with. So in this case, the first one here is a label. Now this label has four, uh, all the controls on here uh, in design mode. The user won't see these. In design mode, you have four colored boxes. The green box, when you click it, brings up the properties of the control itself, which is where you can name it, set the top, left, and height and width, and also put in some text for it as well. The other boxes as well, the blue will move it around, the black resizes it, as you see here, and the red will delete. In this case, we'll leave this one here. And let's put that there. Some controls do allow you to grab them and move them here. Some do not, such as a drive box. You'll see this momentarily. The next uh, one we have is the text box. Now here it will ask you if you want to add a browse button. What this gives you the ability to do is include a browse button with that text box. So if a user needs to browse to a specific file or file location, they can do that. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and say yes. And of course, we'll drag this over here. Let's resize it. Okay. Now, the program supports some keywords that you can use as well. The program will replace these keywords with the proper values. <clears throat> so, the online help file that I have uh, shows the current list of keywords. So, in this case, just for this test, we're going to put in the keyword to have that text box show us the path to the Windows directory. And so when the control is loaded uh, in, the pro in the main program, this will be replaced with the proper path. The next one we have is check boxes. We also have option boxes, which as you can see, go right between each other. And then of course we have drive boxes. Now you'll notice the drive box I can't uh, drag. So in that case, we'll use this here. All right, so in this case, we don't need the drive box. Let's get rid of that. And we'll go ahead and skip the option boxes for now and we'll just stick with the first three controls we made now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bat script here to show how you can take the value of these controls and apply it to your code so in this case I'm going to go ahead and create a little bat file that's going to simply give us and let's see here we have this name text to and so right here what we do to show the control the program looks for these uh, three bars here on each side when the program sees this it knows to take whatever control name is in the center here and put whatever value is there okay and then we'll have it pause here so we can see the results now how to use check boxes 
is a very basic if-then statement. Now the thing with the if-then statements is when you have multiple, whatever the one qualifies, everything else is removed. Only the code that is inside the if-then statement is ran uh, for this section. Um, so in this case, we'll do this. And then of course we need to put the name of the check, which is check three. And if it equals, in this case, checked is one, unchecked is zero. And we'll go ahead and put this code inside there instead. So, if this is checked, when the uh, and the uh, user runs the uh, tweak, the code will be executed. If it's not checked, it's simply skipped. Very simple. Okay, so let's go ahead and put. Uh, Okay, so as you see, pretty simple, pretty basic. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and save the add on. So, in this case, the program, when it loads, let's go ahead and delete this here, loads the tweaks based on the fo folder directory inside the add ons folder. So, you can make the directory any which way you like. So, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. And I'm going to store my tweak inside there. And we're done here. Now back in the main program itself, we go to here and reload, and then we'll see Shane's test tweak. Go inside there, there we go. Now if we remember, the key word we had inside the text box has been replaced. And as you see, it shows the Windows directory as I want it to. Here's our description, and then down here is the detailed information the user sees. OS supported, there's a reg file, there's commands. Now they can't edit any of these, they can only view. So in this case, You'll notice down here that the key keywords have not been replaced yet. They do not get replaced until they're ran. So we'll put a checkbox here and we'll go ahead and apply it. And there we go. There's our echo command right there. And that's all there is to it. More advanced uh, videos will come down the road as more features are added. If you have any questions, drop a line in the form and let me know. Take care.